Hey everyone, welcome back to the Modular House Show. This is episode 4 and tonight we have the very suave Mark Francisco here. Oh, hi. Hello, hello. Yo. Thanks for thanks for being here. Thank you very much for inviting me. It's a great opportunity to just be here to play some music, you know. Alright. Uh, how about let's go to the first song then. Alright, so the first song is um of my first EP which is my only EP so far. It's called Age of 19. Grow up, it's not your fault. You just didn't know what you were searching for. You thought that you could make the call. Tap out your inner mess, trying to prove that you're the best. Just a battle of the reds, I guess Could have seen What could have been Always wondering what it means Don't you think you were being too keen By the age of 19 Light up a cigarette and cough it out in three seconds flat No, I'll be fine, I bet I could even have a pole, maybe even lose my soul You think I'm being bold Could have seen What could have been Always wondering what it means Don't you think you were being too keen By the age of 19 Life sucks, so they say But you will smile at the smallest thing you see today Everything will be okay could have seen what could have been. Always wondering what it means. Don't you think you are being too keen? By the age of 19, could have seen what could have been. Always wondering what it means Don't you think you were being too keen With all the places that you've been Does it really matter what it means? By the age of 19 By the age of 19 By the age of 19 Yo, 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 yo Cool. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. That was the first song titled Age of 19. And it's released uh, as your, was it your second single in the EP? Oh yes, it was the second single. Yeah, It was uh, very, I don't forget the feeling of trying to release the song. Um, it's something that I can't forget because it's quite terrifying actually just to put your thoughts because um, some of these songs really just come um, straight from my heart and it's uh, quite raw. I would okay. say Age of 19 is one of the most raw ones. So, okay. yeah, it was quite terrifying to put it out there, but I'm glad like I did it because it's so nice to have my own stuff out there just to have like friends and family and even people who like this kind of music to listen to. So it's definitely something that's unforgettable. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Definitely very soulful and just uh, touches your... Hot strings. All oh, right. Yeah. If you say so. <laughs> uh, anyways, to that song again. So, did you write it when you were nineteen? Yes, actually, yeah. how I came about the idea was, uh, I was thinking of a concept. I had a dinner with one of my friends, and then we were talking about the year twenty nineteen because I think it, we, it just started, and it was a year that I was turning nineteen. And I was just talking about life and like stuff I've gone through, um, all the different. 
um, ups and downs and opportunities that I had presented to me. But and then he said something along the lines of, um, "This is like your age of 19." Now I was thinking, "Whoa, this is quite a good concept. Good, it's like a good song title, isn't it?" So I, was, yeah. I got it. On, I got on my iPhone. I decided to write it down. Um, I just came up with lyrics first, which is something that I don't usually do. I usually have the music first. Okay. But um, I tried to write based off that concept and what came out was more of um, things that I've done all my life so far till the age of 19. And yeah, that's why it was released. Um, you know, I was, it was recorded on when I was 19. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the little fun fact yeah. <laughs> about this song. Yeah, interesting. And besides... Uh, this um the more traditional format of uh singing and playing. You also do some uh finger style work, right? Oh yeah, of course. Um it's one of the main things I'd say. I think I'm I feel more comfortable as a guitarist, honestly speaking. Okay. Um, more than I'm singing? More or? than yeah, definitely oh. more than singing. Okay. I always um my main source of enjoyment is guitar. I'm not really a fan of my voice, but <laughs> sometimes it does help. It okay. does help to put the message out there. But yes, that's a uh, shame though. <laughs> ah, come on. But yeah, his fingerstyle music yeah. is uh, something that's, I guess, not really seen around Singapore that much. And uh, so I'm glad to come in and just try my best to put it out there, try to get more people to listen to such things. And uh, I believe that music has a lot more to say than words. Yeah. yeah. All right, cool. So uh, in your EP, we can expect uh, how many fingerstyle songs? Um, three songs. Three, three songs. songs. Yeah. Okay. Would you like to bring us through one of them right now? Sure. Okay. So this is a song called Unsure, and uh, it's on the fourth fret. It's on the. So we got to put some of that capo action on. <laughs> this is Unsure. man for that beautiful Thank you very piece much. Unsure by Mark Francisco alright right. I have to 
mention about that Tommy Manuel signature on <laughs> your guitar. Oh yes. So I mean, clearly you are a Tommy Manuel fan. Definitely, is very big, very big, very big influence. Inspiration, yeah. yeah, influence. He basically, um, when I was younger and I started playing guitar, all I had to do was, I think the first song I learned was, you know, that's wrong. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> all this kind of strumming stuff, and I was so contented with it. And then one day, my aunt um, came and challenged me. Uh, in a way, I'm pretty sure she didn't mean to challenge me, but she came up to me and she said, "Listen to this guy play," and it was a song. By this, it was like a raw concert footage, and there was this one man and one guitar, and he was playing. Uh, he was playing guitar boogie, but as one band. One man band. And I was wondering how the hell did he do that? And so um, when I was 15, you know, fast forward a few years later, my parents bought for me the ticket and then we went to the concert and that day changed my life. It's been one of the greatest influences so far in my guitar um, journey. All right. So it was great to meet him to get his guitar to become the signature model, if you know what I mean. <laughs> how, how did you actually uh, get him to sign with? Was there like a queue for like signatures and stuff? So usually yeah. there will be a queue, but that one concert in 2017, which is the second one I went for, there was no queue. There was nothing. I tried to ask the ushers. They didn't want to tell me anything. Okay. But I heard somewhere, somewhere like someone just mentioned, um, if you know how to go backstage to a certain floor, you can get it. So I grabbed my guitar okay. and I ran all the way to the <laughs> car park level and I managed to see um, there's like a small crowd of five people just inside the room and I was let in and I had a chance to talk to him for like about two minutes or so and that's how I got him to sign it. Oh, yeah. nice. <laughs> it, was a, it was a clutch. Uh. It was a clutch. All right. It's a story you can tell kids too. Definitely. <laughs> yeah. Right. And uh, also, um, now you're actually in national service, right? That's right. Uh, hence the more tan look. And the lack of hair. Yeah. And the, <laughs> yeah, the lack of hair. How, how, how has it been? How has it been uh, BMT, right? Yeah. How is BMT for you? Well, it was definitely tough because uh, going and transitioning from civilian life into military life is definitely something that um, I'm not used to. I was never part of a uniform group um, as a co-curricular activity in secondary school. So, I mean, I wouldn't have known uh, how it was like. So it was really tough and it pushed me to my limits. So I think overall, I really did grow to become more resilient to tackle stuff and... But yeah, music had has had to be on the side for a take short a while. Seat. Had to take a big back seat for a while. But uh, with that being said, I'm always looking forward to coming back home and playing my guitar. Even in camp, I'll be listening to music every night just to mm -hmm. fuel myself with whatever I need. Yeah. Okay, cool. And uh, can we expect newer songs from you anytime soon? Yes, actually I've been writing on and off here and there. So I actually have three new songs that uh, I've written over the past few months and hope to be able to play it soon, someday, and hopefully to work on a new project where um, all of you will get to hear more stuff. Yeah. All right, cool. Uh, we're all looking forward to that. Mm. And uh, okay, let's let's go through the final song of the right. night. What, what's it called? So this song is a song called Fool in a Man's Shoes. And uh, I think like the title says, um, I can be quite a fool sometimes. Uh, so I guess everything just kind of falls into place when you um, think about it. So I wrote this uh, two years ago and he has grown to become one of my favorites just to scream. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so here he goes, full of man's shoes. Juice box and climb out of his shell. Feels like an artificial self constructed hell. And sometimes I wonder what's going on. And maybe it can't be going on for so long. Fact that it is what it is, but 
But every time I ask myself why do I keep on waiting When I know that it's never gonna change And why do I keep telling myself that she's the one for me When clearly you can see she's far away Well all that I can say is that I'm a fool in a man's shoes Well I'm a fool in a man's shoes You tell me all the things he says and where you wanna go It's like you're taking a knife and shoving it in my soul You take a five and a six and a seven and an eight And you shove it all together and you call it fate Then tell me why, why, why every time I try I get ahead of myself and end up being late No, 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 no I wanna know, like what's the problem When all you things that I don't care I think I need to face the fact that it is what it is But every time I ask myself why do I keep on waiting when I know that it's never gonna change And why do I keep telling myself that she's too on for me When clearly you can see she's far away Well all that I can say is that I'm a fool in a man's shoes Well I'm a fool in a man's shoes Why do I keep telling myself that she's the one for me When clearly you can see she's far away Well all that I can say is that I'm a fool in a man's shoes Well I'm a fool in a man's shoes Well I'm a fool in a man's shoes Well I'm a fool Right, cool. Thank you, thank cool. you. <laughs> Full in Man Shoes by Mark Francisco. We are so excited to hear what you have for us in the next couple of months, I hope. Yeah. I'll try my best. All right. <laughs> and yeah, uh, if you guys like what you're hearing, uh, you can check out Mark Francisco on all major streaming platforms like Spotify, Apple Music, Tidal, and yeah, more. <laughs> Uh, also, you can check out his socials. Where are you on, man? Where can people check you out on Facebook? You can find me on Instagram at Mark underscore Francisco. Okay. Um, just a very basic name, but you just got to do with it. And I also have a Facebook page. I try to be more active there, so just do stay tuned to that page. It's also Mark Francisco. And uh, you can just check it out. Yeah, that's right. All right. Yes, and we have come to the end of the episode. Before I end it off, I'd like to thank our venue sponsor Zeppelin & Co for giving us this really awesome place to host our show if you want to upgrade your listening experience and have a cup of coffee in hand please do head down here it's a really awesome place to chill and hang also not forgetting Audio Technica our gear sponsor equipment sponsor for this wonderful mics that you're hearing and enjoying today and with that we've come to the end of the episode if you like what you're watching, please do like, share, comment, and subscribe to this channel. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye. All right. <laughs>